Hello friends. Hey, in this video, I want to teach you something that's a little more fancy than I normally do. It's kind of a rock star type of stitch. So I'm a drummer, not a really super awesome drummer, but I have had the opportunity to play in a few bands over the years. And I've realized that as a drummer, it's not usually my role to play a big drum solo in the middle of every song. And uh, once in a while though, I'll get to play a little solo and kind of bust out the cool stuff. So this is an opportunity to bust out some cool stuff in the leather shop. I'm gonna show you how I do this stitch. It's called a Norvegese stitch, and it's just kind of a decorative stitch. It's like a saddle stitch. It's not much stronger than a saddle stitch, if any, but it looks pretty cool, and it's one trick that you can add to your tool bag and bust it out when you want. So uh, let's get into it. We'll go step by step and do it from start to finish. So this stitch looks pretty wild, but believe it or not, it's super simple, and once you see how I do it, you'll think, oh, I should have thought of that on my own. So if you know how to saddle stitch, It'll be super simple. If you don't know how to saddle stitch, definitely check out this other video that I made. We go start to finish, just break it down into real small steps so that you can have a perfect saddle stitch every time. So we'll be doing a regular saddle stitch with this red thread here to demonstrate at first, and then we'll actually do it on a wallet. So I'll stitch toward me with this red thread. So this is how I would normally do it, imagining there are needles on the end here. I'll get one stitch going here. And then before I pull this all the way through, this would be like the top side on, on to my right. I'm going to leave a little bit of a loop here and then I'm going to bring a second string in. So that's this blue thread. So I'm going to pull this through halfway. So I got equal lengths on both sides and let that hang down. And now I'm actually going to pull tension on my saddle stitch. And that locks in the first, the first loop there. So I'll come for my second stitch here. Pull that through again almost pulling it tight but leaving a little bit of a loop here and then this blue thread one's going to go up and one's going to go down through that same hole and they're just going to weave back and forth always staying on top of the piece there when we do it on the piece of leather as well we'll have to know how to end it and i'll show you how i do it on my wallets when i get down to about here on the wallet i actually tuck it in there and i'll show you how i do that that's a little bit of a trick if you know a better way to do it, sure you can sure let us know in the comments. I'd sure love to hear about it. Uh, I kind of made it up on my own and I want to pass it along to you, so hopefully this is helpful. All right, so I'll stop there for now. I'll show you the back side here. The back side actually looks, looks exactly like a regular, regular saddle stitch, which would be expected because that's all the red is doing on the front side and the back side. We just have this blue now. It's kind of weaving back and forth on the front side. So let's jump to the leather now. We'll stitch up a wallet. This is uh, called the Origin Wallet. It's the wallet, it's, this is actually the very first one I ever made and carried around for a long time. So on this exact wallet, this is the very first time I ever tried this stitch and it worked out and it just became a thing, so I stuck with it. So let's, uh, let's stitch one up. Well, we're all ready to stitch it up now. So instead of just having one thread and two needles like we would in a regular saddle stitch, we'll need that as well. But we're also going to need that second thread that's going to go on top. So we're going to need two threads and four needles. And so the, the main thread, I like to have about five to six times the length of the stitch line in thread. So I measure that out. You might be able to get away with a little bit less than that, but I hate running out of thread and having almost enough. Uh, and as far as the length of the thread that goes on top here, I like to measure out about three times plus a little bit. Again, I just want to end up on the generous side. So five to six times for the main thread and three times or so for the top thread. And we'll put needles on the end of each of those threads. And I will leave that little loop here now. And with my second thread, it's the same color. So it's going to be a little tougher to see, which is why I wanted to do it in the uh, red and the blue before. But this one's for a customer, so I'm going to use the same color here. But I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm going to loop this through and just let it hang. I got half on both sides. And then pull the tension on it, and that'll sort of lock it in. Next thing we'll do is just continue on with our saddle stitch. And then each time we'll be weaving this top thread back and forth through like we did on the, the blue and red threads. So we'll just do a regular saddle stitch here. And then before we pull this tight though, we'll remember to leave that little 
loop here on the top side, just about like that. And this top one just goes up from the bottom, down from the top, they pass in the middle. And then we'll pull tension first on the saddle stitch, and then just pull a, a little bit more tension on that top stitch there. And then we'll go on to another saddle stitch. When I poke this one through from the right, I'm just opening up the hole on the back side so I can find it easier. And proceed with the saddle stitch here. So yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but it's not too bad. It's kind of a fun thing to do once you get going. And you can also use two different colored threads and that, that can open up some cool creative ideas. Now I'm coming to the very last saddle stitch. So I'll go through like normal and almost pull it tight. This will be our last loop that we do on top here. So I'm gonna take each of these through this top loop like we've been doing the whole time. Pull the saddle stitch tight. And now we have to decide what to do with the, the tails of these two that have been on top the whole time. Actually first finish off the saddle stitch. We're gonna, we're gonna finish off the saddle stitch by back stitching two stitches. Now that I've finished off the saddle stitch and done the back stitch and burn those, I have these two tails left. And what I like to actually do is just tuck each of them into this last hole and then I poke it right out the side here just the way I've made this wallet it works this way I can po poke each, each of them down through this last hole and then from here I'll take both of these and tie a double overhand knot and then cut the ends burn them shove that inside and I'll call it good. Well, it was a ton of fun making that with you. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you learned something and maybe it's not the kind of thing you'll use every day, but at least you know how to do it now so you can bust it out when you need to. If you have not already watched the saddle stitch video, definitely check that out and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for being here.